Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 4. I am the Max Few Trades. In the last part, we found the killer, maybe? He kind of showed up on TV and taunted us to go and find him and try to catch him, so that seems pretty cut and dry. Almost as if it might be a little too easy, but I suppose I don't really know how exactly I'm going to go about finding him because we can't get into the shadow. We can go to the TV world, but we can't find where he is, so we got to find information about him. What makes that difficult is we don't know anything about him whatsoever. We don't have a, a name or anything. Like, it's just... Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna pull this off, but we will regardless! And it will be all around very, very swell. Alright, so the search for roadkill face has begun! Where the hell do we even try? Like you, sir, do you know anything? I learned and all that crazy stuff bother me when I lived in the city, blah 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 blah. I'll forget all about that Egyptian, don't worry- what? <laughs> you talking about the teacher lady? My sister has the same hobbies, blah 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 blah, I don't really care. Oh, but you have something to ask me? Okay, sure, fine. Uh, I want to walk home with my sister, but I don't know where she went off to. If I wait, she doesn't come at all. Have you seen her anywhere? I will look for her. I may take me several days to find her, but I will find her. I promise you that much. Okay, now we've got an old person. Hey, you there. Wait, can I talk to you? Are you free? Crud cakes. Fine. What do you want? Is it blah, 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 blah. You know what a wedding veil is? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. That's not that hard to really remember. Blah, 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 blah. Something about a mother-in-law. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, she didn't wear one, and da, 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 angry at everybody, but I'm starting to regret it. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and sure, fine, I'll find horns, I guess. I don't understand how that works, but fine, I'll figure something out, I guess. <laughs> I'm not trying to get side quests, everybody. I'm just trying to friggin' get some information. Yosuke friend, what are you and your incredibly red pants up to? Have you figured anything out? Hey, have you seen Kanji? It looks like he went off somewhere while I went to the bathroom. Yeah, thinking about him off by himself is making me worry. Alright, so I gotta go find Kanji, maybe. That's... maybe he'll know something. Information on the criminal, wasn't that all shown on TV? Yep, okay. That's That seems like a pretty cut and dry example of what I need to do. Ah, it's so hot! Doing this every day is gonna be rough. If I get too caught up in this, I might be in trouble. I gotta remember to keep hydrated. I only need a little more information until we find our culprit. Let's keep our spirits high and give it our all! Alright, so question is, where the flippin' ningle dangles would Kanji be off to? The murderer? That's a dangerous line of questioning! It's more fun to just learn about the murders on the news on TV! There's really nothing fun about murder, but okay, sure, whatever, weirdo. <laughs> Alright, so, well, Kanji is very clearly not here, which means there's only other- there's only three places a person can be found in this place. You can either find him in school, Okay, I guess there's four. You can find them in school, but that's not an option now, because summer and everything. So, that means it's, somebody's going to either be in the shopping district, the floor level of the Juness department store, or hanging out somewhere on the floodplain. These are the only places they can possibly be. Well, I mean, there's many places. This appears to be a, a rather large town, and we don't seem to really visit all of it, but, you know. Let's see. Kanji! Oh, hey, it's Yuki! I've been wanting to talk to people who pass by, but I really don't know what I should be asking them about. We don't know anything about the boy. Not even his name. This is hard. Well, I'll try my best and get as much information as possible. That's all you can do, Yukiko. Don't worry about it. Being the designated hero of this story, I am forced to do this sort of thing on my own. Hey, Mr. Kitty. Uh, not seeing anybody. You know, that's the guy who wanted something. You look like you might be the gal that your sister is looking for. Is that the case? Hello, talk to me. What is it? You've seen that face before? Yep, she looks like the lady. Yep, okay, tell her that I've been on the riverbank. I won't go anywhere. You should go tell the old return that you found her. Okay, why didn't she just go to her? That doesn't make any sense! Okay, well, I'm not finding Kanji. Is he hanging out on the riverbed? Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, Yukiko. Alright. Hello, hello, looking for friends? Is anybody around? Kanji! There he is. Sup, buddy bro. What's going down? Yeah, info on the suspect. It's pretty tough. Seems like no one knows anything, eh? But instead of uh, about it, why don't we go right to the source? Just ask Dojima. He's your uncle, right? He'd tell you something. Maybe Kanji's suggestion is right. But you wonder if Dojima will say anything. Somehow I sincerely doubt that in every aspect. Okay. So do I actually, like, have to wait until he's inside the house to do that? Or is he actually... Can I find him anywhere? That is the million dollar question. Okay. Um... Huh, not entirely sure here. Well, I know I didn't see him here. 
I assume this is kind of like the other times where people just kind of show up in different places at different points in time and you just kind of got to find them. So that's going to be something. I think I'm probably going to have to find him somewhere in town. I've seen no nothing to suspect that I'd have to wait until he's actually home. But I have no idea where he would actually be. So that could be a problem. Alright, anybody, anybody, anybody. Whoa, actually, what? Is that you? Yeah, you're holding your j jacket and everything. Okay, that was easy. The clue to the criminal investigation. You, I told you to stick your, not to stick your neck into things. There's no way I'd tell you. Ugh, damn, where did that Adachi go off to? Gotcha, can't get anything out of him, so I gotta find Adachi. Alright, so they do randomly pop up. He was definitely not there before. Okay, you, tiny child. I know where your sister is, so there you go. Sheesh, what's she doing at a place like that? She should have come back there t together with you. Oh, that's okay. I'll go over and see her. I'm the big sister after all. Thanks for telling me where she is. Hey, a bunch of dungeon escaping stuff. All right, that's pretty sweet. Awesome. Yosuke, any new information? How's it going? Did you hear anything? Yeah, well, can't help if he gets mad. I guess all we can do is look for someone who can tell us a little more. Yeah, clearly Adachi. So we just have to find an extraordinarily pathetic looking man somewhere around here. He's probably bumbling about some in one of these places. Chie! I'm ashamed of myself. I couldn't resist the temptation of a steak bowl. Of course, I'm perfectly capable of gathering intel while I'm eating. Uh, but it seems like most people really don't know anything about the incident. How about the police? Yeah, I'm looking for a dachi. Okay, so I just have to look for somebody who wasn't around before. Okay, old person, random teen. Da, 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 da. Oh, and Yukiko is here now. All right, so they do shift around. How are you so good at collecting information? I've lived here all my life, and I know many of these people. It's a little embarrassing that you can do it so well. I'll try a little harder. I'm sure to find some sort of clue. Uh, have I seen a dachi? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Uh, but speaking of a dachi, he's been at Juness fairly often recently, hasn't he? I don't know if you'll find him there today, though. Ah, uh, okay, there's your million dollar question. Okay, so he hangs out at Juness. And he might not be here today, but he could be there tomorrow, the day after. Who even knows? I sure don't. This is why you must ask your friends for this sort of information. Team efforts and all that. Yep, and if I try to go in there, it's just gonna bring me to the Flibbity What's It's, uh, the food court. Don't wanna go there. So I guess I have no choice but to wait till tomorrow. Alright, seems fair enough. Statuses, though. I wanna check out my various things. Okay, knowledge and expression, understanding, diligence, courage. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll go to the diner. Hopefully they've got something in there. I don't know. Then again, Wednesday. What are the days of that daycare thingy that I can apparently do? I don't remember at all. I went there once and then forgot about it. What are the days? What are the days? Is it the bus stop? You can work at the daycare center on Monday, Friday, or Saturday when it's not raining. Okay. To the steak bowl it is then, as I've clearly got no other options. Ha <laughs> ha! Good times. Out of the way, old people. I ain't got time for you. Gotta, 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 gotta find a dachi, but he's not there, so I'm just gonna go get a snack. Chinese diner, I, uh, t -t 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 pork, spare ribs, and noodles. All right, try our ethnic noodles. We might give them to them. Diligence. Why, I do believe I will consume them quite heartily. Let's do this crazy dance. Gotta boost that diligence. Otherwise, I won't be known for being able to do stuff. And that would just be the worst. Da -da -da. After waiting for a while, you eat the food. It's quite delicious. However, blah, 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 blah. Same old, same old. You feel tired. And because you managed to eat it, you got some diligence. Huzzah! Hey, thank you. That'll be 800 yen. Dude reminds me of Beetle from, um... Wind Waker. Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. Oh, wait, what? I was actually born and raised in Inaba. I only talk like this because of what I learned in this book. Oh, did you just get me a book? Friggin' sweet! <laughs> I wasn't paying any attention! I was too distracted thinking about... Thank you! Damn you, Beetle! Yeah, how dare you just appreciate me, small child? Yes, hello, small child. Interesting, interesting... Okay, I'll talk to you, small child. Per oh, wait, no, I forgot. I don't have enough expression. Ugh, that's stupid. I have to be enthralling in order to pull that sort of thing off. Ugh! Seriously. She's freaking six, and there's that freaking platypus gurgling somewhere over there. Ain't got time for none of that. 
Yeah, okay, so, ba ba da bing, got a book! It's definitely something to do. Beats just studying at the desk the entire time. Alright, read the ramen way, apparently! You decide to read the ramen way with your full attention, knowing full well that there is a platypus somewhere in this room that is just waiting for the perfect moment to stab you with its poison barbs. Ah! Uh, he was foreshadowed too! The t-shirt with the platypus! Oh my god, he was- THE PLATYPUS IS THE KILLER! It's the perfect crime, he's got the platypus stabby things. Oh, I've unraveled this whole thing. This book explains different ways to prepare noodles for a variety of different regions. Sounds delicious. Maybe you should talk to someone about it. Your knowledge has increased. Anything else? Yes, your expression has significantly increased. Freaking sweet. Wow, I really am going to get my expression maximized before anything else. That is just downright silly. All right, then. Although on the plus side, like... So, during summer break, like, no rain whatsoever, so... Got lots of time to figure this whole thing out. Although, I'm probably gonna get into a fight, so I'm gonna have to do lots and lots of training, which is fine! We've got a fair number of videos without actually fighting anything, so I think it's okay to switch back over to that sort of thing. Into town, I say! Go out until evening? Absolutely. Gotta go to Juness, see if Adachi's just hanging out there. If not, then I'll figure out something else to do until he eventually does show up. Everybody has to go to the grocery store at some point! There he is! Sup, no, you little weirdo. I think I'll stay here a little longer before I go out again. Mm -hmm. Ah, you startled me! Don't sneak up on me like that. Eh, what was I doing? Get the, you know, investigating. I'll tell Dojima! Did Dojima say maybe say anything about it? Just, just keep this a secret from him, please. Wait, what? Clues to catch the suspect? If I tell you, will you keep quiet? Okay, then. I'm just talking to myself here, but he supposedly had a part-time job in the shopping district. Where was it? Oh, I don't think they told me that much. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Where exactly did the suspicious boy work? So now I gotta go to the shopping center, and then I gotta go talk to all of the various shops. Hopefully it's not any of the item-selling shops, because otherwise that might take a while. I'll talk to the places that, like, are out in the open. The, uh, the food place, the tofu place, all those things. Everything's somewhere in this, in this town. Alright, see, there's the books. Actually, wait, was that? Yeah, okay, sorry, Yukiko, I completely missed. I overheard some people talking about the incident at the bookstore, but they were talking as if it was some kind of joke. It really made me angry. The culprit worked part-time at one of the stores around here, right? Maybe in the shopping district. We'll have to redouble our search and keep asking around. Alright, avoid all of the incredibly difficult ones. Yo, tofu stop. You must be Risei's friend. She's not home. You ask if a student was working part-time here. A student? No, I'm the only one who has been working here this entire time. Thank goodness Risei came back. She's been very helpful. Okay then, so he did not work here. Good to know. How much money do I have? Not a lot, but enough. Good. Let's see. And that's the item shop, so we just avoid that entirely. And we keep on walking and finding all sorts of other places to go. We're gonna find you, roadkill face! We're gonna find you! How about you? you? Did anybody work here? You asked if a student was working here part-time. Where'd you hear that from? I told him not to tell anyone. Anyway, yeah, he did work here for a short time. This was a while ago. He freaked out just from cutting the raw meat. Yeah, that sounds like a killer to me. Mm, I remember he had black eyes. What? You don't remember the person who worked for you's name? Yeesh, and what else? Oh yeah, he said the person who worked here before him was his classmate during middle school. You see that kid is classmate around here sometimes. Maybe you should talk to him when you see him. I don't know if you'll find him today. Uh, so I gotta wait. But he recently dyed his hair golden brown, so he should be easy to spot. You obtain a lead about the boy. If you can find this, his golden brown, yeah, golden brown haired classmate, you'll probably obtain information about the boy. But I'm not gonna find him today, so I guess we're just heading back to the friggin' diner. More spare ribs. All right, fine. My diligence does kind of suck. Very well. Beetle, go make some sort of food already. And it will enhance my abilities to talk to people for some reason. Science. Go figure. You eat the food, but you're not hungry, and you're tired, and it's awful, blah 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 blah. So you eat all the food, om nom nom. Everything's good. Diligence doesn't go up. I yeah, thank you. That'll be 800 yen. Ah, yeah, it's always 800 yen with you. You no good, Nick. Ugh. Kanji's gonna renovate your ass. Uh... Somebody embroider that on a pillow. Okay, welcome back. Still can't talk to you anyway. Fine, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Ugh. Time to read more ramen book. Time to read the ramen book. Yeah. Here we go. Come along now. There we go. 
There are even more creatures hiding in this room now. I do not feel safe here anymore. Uh, knowledge goes up. Platypus growling! And expression goes up. Fantastic. And the book's not done, so that's just great. Alright, hopefully this is the last guy I gotta find, because this is getting just a little tiny bit silly. <sighs> Alright, keep it going, keep it going. The fog will come after several days of rain, blah blah blah! It won't take- it's not gonna rain for a long, long time, bro! Ain't got nothing to worry about. Alright, going to town once again, back to the shopping district. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find the guy we need. This guy better know who, he, who we're looking for, otherwise I'm gonna be all sorts of just flustered and confused. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Okay. Always gotta wait for the loading screen. Loading screen and hello. You look different. Hello. Who are you? Eh? You wanna see my yearbook? Oh, you're looking for him. You wanna see his picture? Eh? You do, don't you? Well, today's your lucky day because me and my friends are going around showing it to everybody. Why are you doing that? Want a copy? Okay. Oh, yep. That's Roadkill Face. All right. There's no doubt that the boy in the picture is the one you saw on the Midnight Channel. His head is very tiny and very creepy looking. The name is written below the picture, Mitsuo Kubo. So this is the suspicious boy's name. You should report to Rise. At long flippin' last! Okay, actually, whoa, whoa, one last thing before we head off into uncharted territories. I'm just curious. Okay, I need to find some more, uh... I need to find more personas while we're in there, so I can start fusing them all together and getting some sort of horrifying hell beast on my side. Alright. Okay. You have to forgive me, I suffer from constant brain farts, not remembering where I'm going or how to get there. Okay. Department store, ho! Come along now. Alright. So we're gonna get to that, we're gonna get to the next dungeon and we're gonna train, 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 train until it just becomes impractical to keep fighting monsters at that point. We've got lots of things, we have lots of ways to get out, and we've got plenty of spare time, so it's all good. Why are you in that suit? That's so, oh, it's so weird. It's weird when you're not out, it's weird when you're out of the suit and it's weird when you're in. Teddy, you are a weird, <laughs> weird person. Anyway, into the place! Yeah! Woo! So is that what they see when they travel through worlds? Because that is a trippy sight. You showed the picture of Mitsuo Kubo to the others. That's him, all right. It's definitely the guy on the Midnight Channel. Huzzah! It's settled then. He is the killer. And he's in here now. We have every reason to suspect it, and that's why I think it's not him. Because, once again, we don't have our final... <laughs> What I assume to be our final teammate, so yeah. This guy came to our shop before. Say what? Was he spying on me? Oh, a motive? We oh my god, I really was being targeted. Holy hell! Okay, well, this is just adding credence to the whole thing. Damn it! Freaking punk! Uh, Yukiko, Kanji, any recollection of this guy or anything you might have ever done? Seen him before too. Hmm. Where? Oh, now I remember. Yukiko, it's that one guy. Uh, not very descriptive, are you? That one guy? Yeah, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific. We've met a lot Back of them. Back in April, remember? He suddenly came and started hitting on you. Oh! Was that him? Ah, uh, so that wasn't a completely meaningless little discussion that went on there. I thought it was just an establishing character moment. I didn't know that guy had any relevance. Well, hot damn. Also, seriously, Kanji, you know anything? Because this is pretty much answering all the questions. Oh, him. The dude who got served by Yukiko in front of the school. Which might explain why she he targeted her. Man, Chie, how'd you remember something like that? Eh, yeah, but it's convenient and helpful. Well, that was the first time he talked to her, but I remember he was always following her around. Oh, well, that's insanely creepy. Um, sorry, who are we talking about? Yukiko, you have the memory of a dried tuna. The dude who came right up to you at the school gates and called you Yuki? Oh. Do you really remember? Uh, really? Okay, there you go. Did he kidnap Yukiko to get back at her for rejecting him? 
That would stand to reason. Sometimes crazy people are crazy. Um, I didn't really reject it. Although I guess these are motiv motivational reasons, but still, I'm banking on crazy means crazy. He came up to me while I was busy working and asked, don't the biker gangs bother you? And that explains Kanji! Ho oh ho! Just going on and on about how biker gangs can't do anything unless they're in a pack and stuff. He seemed to be the type who just keeps talking whether you like it or not, if that makes sense. Now I know a few. I usually treat those people politely so they don't get offended, but I was so tired that I kinda ignored him. Was that why I was kidnapped? These are all very slight reasons, but, you know, crazy people tend to amplify stuff. Huh? Wait, I I'm not a biker. Although everyone thinks you are! Ugh, that damn special report. So that's why I got dragged into this. Well, alright then, we've got established motives for why he'd kidnap you three guys. You know... I heard he'd been saying stuff about that announcer's affair, too. For serious? Lots of muttering about how women who cheat on their husbands should be executed. Why do we only realize all of this now? Sounds like it's all coming together. Well, holy hell. Well, it's time for a showdown. Find this man. Rise, I guess, is your Can job you now. Can you this Mitsuo guy's at? I guess. I'll give it a try. Just a sec. With apparently your persona of perception, or reception as the satellite face kind of indicates. Yeah, I found him. Huzzah! He's that way. Off we go then. All right, let's go. Onwards. We're so close to the killer, we can't lose him now. We're totally gonna lose him, aren't we? <laughs> I feel like that might uh, might be only a, a matter of time. We'll find out eventually. Whoa, hello. Huh. Got some old timey mu some old timey games going on here. Some kind of game? Damn, he really is a crazy person. Well he did taunt us, saying try and catch me. I guess he thinks of all this as a game. That sounds like a crazy person. Oh, this pisses me off! I hereby sentence him to a hundred kicks to the face! Well that doesn't sound like nearly enough. Let's go! Let the games begin. Oh man, I can do a wicked cool one-liner. All right, yeah, okay. Let the games begin. Yeah, science. Gotta admit, all guys love games. And if statistical reports are accurate, 50% of women too. So that's cool. And all girls love Teddy. Shut up, Teddy. <laughs> and that reminds me, actually, Teddy can be a frontline fighter now. I guess I should bring him along. At the very least, to get a good feel. Because now I've got just an absolutely absurd amount of characters going around here. Okay, so if I can take Teddy. One, two, three. Okay, Rise, I guess you can't come with us. You're not a frontliner. We don't have to rush, but I want to finish them quick. Let's give it everything we got. Okay, so yeah, you're our, you're our guide and analyzer person now that Teddy is apparently no longer able to do that for some reason. Okay, alright. Well, Kanji, you obviously are in. You've got to be in at all times. Because he is Kanji, and Kanji is is necessary for just basic life in general. Alright, let's see here, and well, Teddy, I might as well see what you got. I have no idea what you can do, what you're capable of, but I'm sure it's something. And let's see. For the time being, Yosuke. I guess it's time for us to go about it. Let's solve this thing. Sorry, Chie, you can go. If it's any consolation, I can 100 percent guarantee you that this won't be the first time we're going in there. So, you'll probably get some experience down the road. Just gotta train these guys up first. Alright, in we go! Wow, this is like a really old video game typey thing. I'm really digging it, I'm not, li not gonna lie. It's probably the least disturbing weird shadow dungeon we've come across at this point. Oh, listen to the mu- Look at the music! It's all blocky and stuff. Ah, oh, this place is cool. Also, Teddy B. Dancing. And he's holding something! Not sure what, though. If you get a quest, end your quest. Uh, I have no choice on that. Please enter your name? Huh? What is this? Uh. Oh! Does this mean the game's starting? Ah, this kind of pisses me off! Let's go! What the flying hell are you holding, Teddy? What is that? Oh, actually, that reminds me. Hold up. What's the matter? Change battle tactics. I know it. I just know it. Gotta talk to Teddy. 
And nope, not act freely. Direct commands. Thank you. Also, I'm seriously confused. What are you holding? It's like a, I don't know, like a spiky ball. What's up with that? Okay, hang on. Equip. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Spiky punch. Oh. Well, there you go then. A glove with needles. Ah, well, all right then. I suppose that's a self-answering question, ain't it? All right, well, let's crawl our way through and hopefully find some awesome stuff. Get some experience of this stuff. Found a chest key. That's always a good thing to find. All right, now where to be the monsters? Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is cool. Okay, okay. I need to stop admiring the tormented landscape of a psychopath's brain and just start fighting monsters. Crap cakes. Not a good start. Oh, what are even these? Hi, how's it going? Ah, uh, not Balzac! And enragement. Okay, not good, not good. Alright. Oh, I still got Atom Smasher! Oh, I love that move. You know what? Yeah, let's use it! No, oh, but it takes up so much HP. Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me check out my other personas. Yeah, I'm gonna go with King Frost. Let's, let's, let's roll with him for a little while. He's done me well so far. Now, freeze all their faces! Maybe they're weak to it. That'd be convenient. The answer was no. All right. And he's charging them up! Oh, he's enraged. He's enraged! Very angry! Oh, that was a lot of damage. Not digging it. Not digging it. And he's also angry! Okay! Holy hell, he's almost straight up dead! That's not good. Okay, hold up, hold up. Which got, okay, Metarama, moderately store HP for the whole team. Here's that, and a minor ice spell. Not a lot of great, not a lot of great, but yeah, okay. That is pretty kind of amazing that Teddy's fighting with us now, not gonna lie. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I've kind of noticed. Alright, pretty sure I've got a, a widespread, of, yeah, okay. It's been a while since I've used Yosuke with actual intent, so that, that, that. that. Okay, and still nothing. Okay, so then where is... I think this is it. Yes! Okay! I don't remember the names of all my spells! There's a weakness! Alright. Let's go and electrocute them one more time. Fantastic. Okay, now Maboomafu. Freezy, freezy! And that takes care of the gigantic arms. Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Okay! Hello! Uh, hold the hold the assortment of bones! Could you not? How about no? Okay! That is not what I was expecting! Although level ups happened! Okay, yeah, I am clearly under leveled for this place! Oh my god! Huh. I think I should probably go to those other prior dungeons and fight those super enemies that are hiding there. Okay, so, friends, incredible pain, gotcha, let's do this. Okay, so I guess all I've got is this. Maybe not having Yukiko was a bad call, but then again, Teddy seems to have a lot of SP, so we might be able to pull this off, we just have to not die in combat, and then we'll progressively get stronger, that's how it works. And advantage us! Come on, please! Thank you. Ho oh, ho! Oh my. And we've got this dude again. Not digging that noise. Alright. We gotta find ourselves some weaknesses. Okay, well, that certainly wasn't it. And Teddy is all about. Yeah, he only has the ice magic, so you know what? Whatever. Just attack this dude. Did he just call it a bear sona? Teddy, get out of there. Get out of here with those puns. Alright. Wind attack! Go, go, go! Please be weak to it! You're not. No one's ever weak to anything! It blows! Okay. Ice attack! Ajenga! Still nothing! And now you're summoning something! Why? Okay, well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, punch the thing! I don't think I have very good team comp... comp... comparation or comp... whatever. I don't have a good team on right now! I find uh, this to be greatly alarming. And I am burning through SP like nobody's business. Oh, that is not good. Okay. Took care of those guys. That's good. Now die before you get a chance to electrocute all of us. Please. Oh, okay. He's just summoning. He's just summoning. You know what? I can deal with the weird bath salt things, but you... No! It is really kind of bizarre to hear Risei be talking right now. I'm so used to Teddy giving me encouragement. 
And of course that's not gonna work. Of course. Why on earth would I ever expect it to work? Electro electrocution! And then a little freezy freeze. Please go away, can't things die. And no, they are still very much angry at me. I can make no promises! Why are these guys so strong? Why is everything so deadly in this place? And why do I keep forgetting the physical attacks don't work on them? My goodness. This is just getting silly. <laughs> Die already! It's a good thing we've got so much time before something bad can happen in this town because it's all too apparent to me that I really, really need this training. I also need to put together a better team because this, this is not working. I don't have a good enough elements. I need fire back in here. Okay, skill, skill, skill. Teddy, teddy, teddy! Need you to heal us up a bit, thank you. Okay, at least it heals a lot. It's not minor healing, it's major healing. Or at least medium healing. I'm sure there's a major healing somewhere down the road. 